Dr. Tripa Shankar sir, Honorable Executive Secretary, Dr. M.P. Singh sir, and my dear colleagues. I am Dr. Singh on behalf of School of Management Sciences, Varanasi, invite you all to the core technical session of Faculty Development Program on Acumen on Multiple Management in Academia. We are extremely privileged to hear from you, sir, once again. Now, without any further delay, I would like to invite Dr. Dupa Shankar, sir, to proceed with today's deliberation on drafting effective research project proposal. So, please enlighten us. Uh, the invitation and uh, beginning the whole thing. There is some change in the format. And accordingly, uh, you know, I will be more visible uh, to you. Uh, the question is over there, will I my, my being visible? I not that's not the point. The point is that uh, despite that, I will kind of uh, more uh, walking. The reason is that uh, otherwise uh, the screen is not quite visible to me. And as you know that sometimes we have to move back, forward and stuff like this. And it's better that uh, the things are under the control of uh, the person who is doing it. Uh, yesterday I realized that uh, perhaps uh, it was slightly overstraining uh, to you. So let us see, today uh, I guess that uh, we will perhaps uh, take care of that as much as possible. Uh, so the first few slides are just copied um, from the previous one. So there isn't any additional information. Um, so this is what is uh, given to uh, me, uh, that is, this is the title of the faculty development program and uh, this again uh, is the same spelling which was yesterday uh, which is uh, coming in front of you and the topic that we are uh, continuing with is the drafting the effective research project proposal. Uh, okay, so that's where we are. So yesterday, just to recall very quickly, uh, what we did, I think uh, from my side, I tried uh, my best uh, to motivate you, but not that you don't know, I mean, it's a very foreign term for you, but anybody whosoever comes, you know, always does some uh, Gama in the beginning uh, and uh, tries to motivate the audience uh, for the next. Uh, that's what I did yesterday that I tried to put the, uh, the, the profile of the world research the way I understood it uh, so far. Uh, you may have a little bit of a different interpretation here and there and I assume they are better than me uh, many times uh, because this is a not uh, very static uh, kind of stuff, it keeps on changing and uh, quite likely I may not be quite aware of uh, uh, some of the researches being done on certain topics and uh, but uh, somebody has to begin uh, and take care of it and uh, that I leave to you, uh, I hope that from that point of view uh, the yesterday's session has done its job. There are certain characteristics of the research. First of all, it is one of the, yesterday I said that this is one of the four uh, objectives of the education. And what the education is, I think uh, you know better than me and you should know better than me. Uh, education is a very complex process. Essentially, it begins with understanding the nature because the first thing with which the person is exposed with and exposed to is the nature. So uh, within want or not from the childhood itself I, uh, there is a lot of data, a lot of information uh, which is uh, coming to, to the mind and uh, some the mind knows as a child, uh, some it doesn't understand. If you just say that the, now the, the horse is coming, how the child knows that it is a horse? It might be fish as well, in the sense that whatever by then the terminology has been collected uh, accordingly, one tries to map uh, whatever has been told. So today if you say that uh, now yellow 
color, I will match with the yellow that I know, which might differ a little bit from your yellow. And we do allow such kind of things. So that is how the whole perception of the nature begins. And then slowly, uh, what happens is that, uh, you know, over <coughs> years and years and years uh, together, people study more uh, about uh, the nature. And the result is that they try to standardize uh, the definition of uh, yellow, blue, black, whatever, you know what, what it is, right? If the frequency range is this much, this is one color, if this becomes different, then this is a different color. And you have a very good uh, in, in front of you. What this really good is, is just a qualification of different color. So there are few things which are according to what we say, law. The, system, the nature behaves according to certain uh, laws. There are few things, not there are few, but there are many things which are very close to the law, but they are not actually the law. In the sense that they are driven more by uh, what you call the fact or the data. Examples are many. If I take a uh, conductor, conductor means electric, electric conductor, apply some voltage across the conductor, there will be some current flowing and without seeing I can tell you the value of the current which will go because there is one law which governs the flow of the current into a conductor. Similarly, there are many other laws which govern and you do not have to uh, say uh, you do not have to do the experimentation to watch. So if the government is buying the file with certain capabilities, some of the capabilities are scientific capability. That means they are predictable with the sustenance once they, they are placed into the aircraft. For some, they have to do a drill they have to collect the data. So similarly there are two types of research. One is to verify a law or to create a law. Uh, means uh, very theoretical research and very non-empirical research that what, uh, that's the word that we used yesterday. I assume that this school or this institute is not so much about uh, such kind of research to create the law. It is the second category of the research where we try to make the interpretation. I remember we did give the definition of the research and the last word was that there must be a new conclusion. And to begin with it has the creative, it has systematic, well, these are very ornamental uh, words, but the landing line of a research is that there should be something new into it. So either it is in category A, where the new law is proposed, or there is a new conclusion. And remember, the second type of the research with which most of you are involved with, will change with time. And it's quite, quite okay. It has changed with time and the reason of changing the time is, uh, changing with time is that uh, could be many. The circumstances themselves have changed. The factors which influence those factors have changed. And the other reason could be that there are more intelligent researchers. They do a better job than what it has been done earlier. Now, take an example where there is no law but it is fact-driven conclusion. I uh, stated this example yesterday and I'll repeat it today and that is smoking causes cancer. We make a statement. Very frequently I think we make this statement. Where is the law? There isn't any. It is only by 
fact, by data, by information, by observation. So this means that we should have the skill of collecting the facts, analyzing the facts, and interpreting the facts, analyzing the facts, reporting the facts, and so our skill is not chemistry, and we don't have to remember the periodic table, the valency and the atomic weight of different elements, and carry out the research for the whole life, and say that I have now invented one more element into the periodic table, which is okay, so that's fine. We are more on, on the side of where the skill required is, what I said just now once again, collection of data, uh, and preparation for the collection of the data before you start, and other kind of things, which today it appears, and now you see about uh, the present COVID problem, and uh, we did say, we did try to differentiate that, be careful in using some term, only, only this room understands that, the difference between the vaccine and the drug. Outside, how does it matter? And people want to be cured, simply. They don't care for your spelling or the vaccine or the drug, but we do here. The reason is that from the point of view of the research, there are two different entities. From the point of view of the biology or the chemistry, uh, they are two different uh, things. But uh, a user may not be so much concerned with it. So, the consequence of the research and emphasis on this research, particularly taking the COVID um, uh, into mind, is that after the chemistry has been done beautifully, biology has been done beautifully, which is which are governed by the laws, etc. Now the question is facts. Facts means now you have to take it to the field and carry out the trials, what they said. And yesterday it was read that out of these many, this is what the situation is, but that also keeps on changing. But the question is that, um, how should the trial be carried out? Now, whether it is COVID or it is Manasseh uh, uh, Silk or um, UP Handlooms or uh, anything, for our purpose, it's the same thing. How do you learn the skill of, of uh, data, data overall collection and so on and so forth? So we have now a different uh, uh, skill altogether, and I'm sure you must, some of you must be, if not all, some of you must be teaching the students, and uh, uh, I would personally like to see that this institute becomes one of the, what you call, places to worship. Uh, and that name of the temple or the, that deity is data, as of now, data sciences, people call it big data, sometimes they call it data analytics, sometimes they call it very nicely business analytics. But how does it matter whether you call it finance analytics or business analytics or anything? The idea is that good old 100 years old, uh, now you have to go back and learn the statistics once again. Um, that's all about this um, uh, uh, analytics. So this is not somebody, uh, I would say, I'll, um, uh, with all honesty, I will say that this is not somebody's property uh, that the subject of fact-driven research belongs to a person or a person belongs to this particular thing. This can be taken by anybody. Rest assured on this. So, as far as the laws are concerned, yes, your background in dynamics is necessary, your background in, in uh, understanding the black holes to get the Nobel Prize. Yesterday it was announced. Uh, now, you should know what the black hole is. And the moment you say it is a blue hole, that you will not get the Nobel Prize because it is only for the black holes. So, there the background matters. But for the fact-driven research, let us conclude, and I think you have to trust me now, my words, the background does not matter. Everyone sitting here can carry it out, carry it forward. 
and uh, absolutely no problem. All that is needed is just you know little bit of sweating uh, done as air conditioned room, so sweating uh, does not arise here. But a little bit of reading of the collection of the data, creating the sample, understanding the sample size, and collection of the data, and then once the data comes, how do you? Uh, no, what you call present the data in tabular form, pie chart, this, that kind of thing, and how do you anal analyze the data? That analysis part takes a uh, little bit of more sweating. Uh, it's more tasks also, so you carry out the analysis of variance, analysis of covariance, all kind of hypothesis making, testing, making, testing, making, testing, and then realizing that, well, I was very stupid to have done this. This is very important. Learning by making mistake in such kind of researches is quite okay. I, it's part of the life, as a matter of fact. Whereas, if you are carrying out empirical, uh, non-empirical research, that means theoretical research, quite likely you will make less mistakes there. So, there has not been much of the mistakes in developing the vaccine for corona, but now the interpretation of the uh, trials uh, you would have, uh, I'm sure, uh, understood um, uh, the news which was there that it was stopped because one sample out of, we do not know even, the news doesn't even report how out of how many it didn't work, or it worked differently, so it was all stopped because you are talking about the life of the human being. But remember one thing. What we said yesterday is that it is going to cost the life of some people. There isn't till today any vaccine for HIV, so one has to be prepared. There will be life, and there are lives lost um, for HIV. But anyways, that's the way the difference between the two types of uh, the researches is. So having said that, the, yeah, we are talking about the. This class of the research, where we look at the preference of the customer, we look at the, uh, about the brand, about the color, about the prices, about the uh, other kind of cost of the materials, and so on and so forth, different kind of technologies are making, mostly by observation. So this, what follows the next is that, uh, we are, for example, that we will talk about uh, the writing, uh, which the initial form is called drafting. So drafting the proposal, uh, effective proposal, effective means uh, it has the effect, so simple. So what is the meaning of the effective? I do not know. Well, this is not the topic, I have simply copied. Uh, it should be systematic, creative. So engineering-wise, there is a meaning for the word effective which is different than something being efficient. This, uh, the, the director has not asked the title of the paper, of the staff to be efficient writing. He has asked to be effective very rightly. I said yesterday and I'm repeating it today. That's the right kind of adjective which has been used there. Efficiency, as you know, should know it, is always the ratio of the output to input. And beyond science and engineering, you cannot improve upon it. So there is an efficiency of automobile engine, there is an efficiency of the power plant, there is, which is purely scientific phenomena or engineering phenomena. Once you become effective, so there could be an effective teacher, all of you are, there could be a good student, but the same teacher, the next day is not that effective. Or if you change the subject, to see the effectiveness has gone. That is quite likely. This means that there is a porosity around this particular word um, uh, effective. So the sponsoring agency to whom we are submitting the proposal may like it, may not like it, but our attempt is to see that um, it is liked. So in that sense, it is the effective one. So this is about the topic. Uh, what I will do today is that there will be uh, two things that I'll quickly do. I'll take some draft proposals for some sponsoring agencies in the country. 
and uh, that's one thing. The second thing is that how other management institutes in the country uh, have done as far as their sponsored projects are concerned. You are also doing it. Uh, so, you know, a little bit about uh, that. So these are the two things that we'll talk about. So let us take um, the first one, and that is uh, a very popular uh, sponsoring agency of Government of India is uh, Department of Science and Technology, <coughs> uh, which happens to be under the Ministry of Science and Technology. Uh, you will not find this combination uh, uh, in the government anywhere where the name of the department as well as, as, well as the name of the uh, ministry is the same. This is only with this. The reason is that uh, earlier there was only the Department of Science and Technology. Later on, uh, then the ministry was created and couldn't think of a better uh, nomenclature than this. So this is what in short is called DST. DST means the Department of Science and Technology. Uh, so what it says here is that this is an agency which sponsors. sponsors sponsorship means the following, that the proposal is accepted. That itself is a good recognition for those who are making the proposal. Second is that sometimes there is a, sometimes, quite often, there is a financial, uh, you know, uh, what you call honor to, to, to the proposers, uh, some kind of financial benefit, which they ask the information about how much you are likely to spend and so on and so forth. I'll come to that later. And uh, then there's the financial one. The second one is that which are my wherever I'm working, be it in usual or the, uh, the school or you know, anywhere, it gives honor to that particular thing as well. So this is the government one, and here is to begin with, I'm saying is that uh, sometimes the DST makes a call to submit the proposal, and sometimes you submit without the call. So the, yesterday we did say that the proposal could be the uh, type 1 or type 2. I mean, this is the type 1, and here is an example how the proposal is announced uh, by the DST, and where do you get this DST proposal uh, available for you? Proposals are invited from institutions, organizations, agencies interested in conducting above well, something, uh, that's the entrepreneurship, uh, above online program during the financial year 2020, Department of Science, Technology, Government of India. This is an example of this thing. So this is a very simple proposal. This is that um, so it is asking for people to write a write a project proposal to carry on the online program. Nothing else. No research. No, nothing great that is involved here. So this is an example of the call of call proposal. This is a picture uh, which I have taken from the uh, what called website of the DST last night. And uh, you should understand uh, that this particular department of science and technology of a country like India, and only one such department in the country, uh, the photograph that you see is he is the secretary. And he happens to be a very loving boy who studied at IIT Kanpur. So a student, come colleague, come now the secretary, of course, I'm not a secretary. Uh, and there are few, uh, the secretaryship generally goes to the IAS officers. There are few departments in the government of India, such as the biotechnology, science and technology, and science technology, and um, uh, what else? Uh, CSIR, etc. Not many, but nearly half a dozen, where non IAS are also the secretaries, and he is one of them. So, the term is about over. What you should know that about the DST is, uh, there are many, many, uh, what it says is the, now on this particular side, divisions of the DST. With the time, now this list 
you cannot read it. I cannot read it either. And there is no need to read. No need to even realize that uh, sometimes we complain that nobody is listening to me. I have a very good purpose. The point is that has it been addressed to the right kind of place? So where the place? These are the boards uh, on this side, and on this side is the list is even longer. Uh, this is the list of the autonomous institutions which are run by, which run under the DST. So the DST runs some institutes also, by the way. Uh, you do not have to worry, but it's more like just knowing it, that this is what is there, and then in between what you see is that there are some uh, other kind of uh, offices, then there is the Joint Secretary, I mean, always officer administration, Joint Secretary for the Accounts and the Finance, like this. This is what the DST is. And uh, Dr. Harshwardhan is the uh, Minister for um, Science and Technology. And Asuko Sharma is the name of the person, he is the Secretary. So that's about the DST. Uh, if you, um, is this machine, sir, available to open the um, website of the DST? Can? Okay. So just hold on. I think uh, that, that, that's important. We will do that later. Uh, so this particular department, I said, has the divisions, uh, has some boards, uh, and uh, sometimes you will hear SERB. So the proposal should go to that particular place, uh, not somewhere else. And there are some subordinate bodies, there are some uh, autonomous institutions. These are the four elements which concern us academicians. There are two which are purely administrative, you know. One is uh, the administration, the other is the finance and accounts uh, and headed by the senior IS officers. So that's how uh, is the arrangement of the Department of Science and Technology. I sir. Uh, now, I think you have to close this and change the file, which is a PDF. Because we are now going to look at a sample of the proposal sent to the DST. Uh, not that one has to copy it, but you have a feel of the, the information. So can you do that, sir? PDF. Let me see here, by putting everything on the screen, he is exposing me like anything. Yesterday, today, so all the titles of my files, which you have thought that they are very secret, are being... Uh, <laughs> anyway, don't worry about that. You can copy if you any, anything you like. So here is a sample proposal to BST. Now this is not going to work, I hope. Is that right? Hello? Any come here, no? Are you doing or am I doing? You are doing. Okay. So this proposal is just few pages. Let us have a look at it. The reason is that the other proposals won't be very much different. The basic contents which we discussed yesterday uh, are available. So here is um, the first piece. This is the first one. Okay. So this is a sample proposal to DSK Government of India. So let us see what is the content of uh, the proposal which is to be given to the um, uh, DST. Uh, one is that uh, cover pace, because it comes first, though it is done at the end, but it comes first, so it is first thing that is coming here. It is an endorsement from the head of the institution, uh, what is said to be given on the letter head. Project title. Of course, so we understand that the title should be. There is a skill of titling. Sometimes people put you know, wrong title or the propositions used are not correct to, to use it the or without the. Well, if you have studied in the United States, you use the word the more than the people who have uh, the British uh, orientation of the mind. So you should know it that there is no standard way of of knowing whether I have done it correctly or not, or uh, from, of, all those kind of things. So this is a title. So it is assumed that one has applied the mind 
um, this, uh, study and analysis of lightweight high speed robo bombs, you know, like this, that is a title. Then there is a certificate, somebody said something? Not some other one. Okay. Then there is a certificate which is given by the director, by the head of the institution. So please uh, now, I think, uh, don't have to go through the body of the, uh, the text. Please just move it up. And uh, this is to be signed by the head of the institution, uh, with the date and so on and so forth. And then that's one piece. Next is? Okay. Next piece, after everything has been done, is a certificate given by the person who is making the proposal. We don't call him the proposer. The terminology used by DST and accepted by DST is he is investigator. And um, so there is a certificate from the investigator. Again, the title comes, and there are some agreements essentially that uh, the investigator or the proposer agrees to, and this has to be signed. So we agree to abide by the terms and conditions of. Now, the, uh, this is a division, SCRC is a division, research grant, we do not submit the project proposal elsewhere for the financial support like this, it goes on, goes on, and then whatever is being sent to the DST comes as the listing of this thing somehow over the years, imagine uh, the, the territory of the DST they want in the same order as given here. So one doesn't put F before uh, E or you know like that. Let the A, B, C, D be the way it is. Endorsement from the head, certificate from the investigator, details of the proposal, uh, names and address of the experts. Then this sheet contains uh, something like that and then the cover sheet but in the same order as it is given there. So this is on the page which is filled up by the investigator. Okay, next. Okay, there's sometimes, just hold on, I think this is important. Uh, the example or the sample which has been taken here is from IIT Delhi. So some of the names which appear, of course, they are not my name. I, I have just you know, taken from somebody else. And they are the faculty at IIT Delhi. There are two in the sample um, uh, proposal, who are the investigators. One of them always is called and has to be the principal investigator. Can't have two principal investigators. So this gentleman is the one who signs this uh, undertaking or the certificate. Okay, so this is why the principal investigator word is coming. Now, This proposal, we do not know what the proposal is, it is going to come, has to be sent to some people for uh, evaluation, for seeing them. Who would be the, in all honesty, who would be the best person other than the ones who are uh, proposing it to suggest the names of the experts? DST will say that if they have the right to you know, add some more name or subtract the name, etc. But the list of the experts, experts means those who are going to uh, evaluate this particular uh, this thing. So T. Nagarajan of Mechanical Engineering IIT Madras is one. So you have to give the name and the address. Name and the address is, next one is uh, Amilandu Mukherjee, who is the, I'll say, the director of IIT Kharagpur, then like this. Then comes uh, a name, I thought that I'll introduce you. Amitabh Ghosh, he was my uh, young tech thesis supervisor. So I thought that uh, this is a good opportunity. Uh, you see someone, Amitabh Ghosh and Ashok Malik, both of them have written a book on manufacturing science as well. So that's one. Next is Amarnath Bharat said they are all retired now. So this is about the list of the experts. They will tell that you give the list of the experts along with the address 
of so many and many so many and you have to give exactly what, what the DSP asks. Okay. Then, then just to hold on. Apart from the experts, you have to tell which are the institutes in the country, India, who could be interested in this. Uh, like it says, all IITs. Uh, so today the number is 23, rather than writing 23, is said all IITs, all IIMs in case it is like that. So ISRO, uh, ISRO has several, uh, this thing that the robotic in test is of the, the one at the Bangalore as well as uh, Tirwan Puram, and then BRC, Mumbai, and IGCR, Kalpakam, like this. This is an example of the telling the institutions which could be interested in your project. Okay, the next one, sir. So this is uh, something that uh, now the proposal starts. Study and analysis, again the, the title, of the lightweight, high speed robot arms. And uh, of course it says that the project submitted like this by the names of the person. And the first person generally is the principal investigator and then the address at the bottom. Okay, so here it is. So this is now the first page of the proposal. Then next, let's see. Uh, there are some blanks, that's how the file was, so I have just copied it. Uh, so this is why the blank one is coming. Now this format is fixed by the DST. And we have to do it according to uh, you know, 101 means something, which is a standard meaning, now we cannot change it. So it says that the first, you give the title, so the first is the project title, uh, 101, item number 101, 102 is the board subject. Uh, for you, it is going to be different. This is, uh, I don't know whether you appreciate or not, high speed, light weight, very contradicting kind of thing, robot arm research, which is a engineering problem. So they, they have said that the bar subject is the engineering sciences. So similarly we have to find, and they will give you, they will guide you, they will give the list of the uh, areas for your guidance, and you have to select one from there, and uh, which will fit to that particular domain. So that in this case it is uh, the engineering sciences. So area is uh, uh, robotics and manufacturing, and then is uh, some kind of duration. Uh, 36 months, the total cost, the details will come later, but right now uh, the total cost of the project uh, is uh, 19 lakhs and uh, there is no foreign equipment component in this particular case, there could be some. Project category, same thing that we said yesterday. It could be applied research or it could be a basic research. This particular proposal says that I will analyze the uh, the, the behavior of the robot arm, uh, which is uh, in the category of the light, uh, uh, light, lightweight and high speed. So it is more like theoretical kind of work. So it is a basic research, and it is not what generally we see. That's the applied research. Um, the principal investigator's name, his designation, his department, and his institute, his address, his date of birth, his uh, gender, sex. Telephone uh, number, that's about the principal investigator. Then it starts, same thing about what is called the co-investigator. There could be more than one co-investigator. Right now there is only one here, who is also an associate person in chemical engineering, IT Delhi, and his address, etc. has been given. Let's go to the next. So this is, now, once again I will repeat it, that you cannot change uh, it, it, these numbers, these are the standard one, the way they are taken, the data is extracted at the DST offices, exactly 101, 102, 103, the way it is written here. So the next is the tele telephone fax ground, um, uh, whatever it is there, and then uh, comes a kind of summary looking um, uh, thing, uh, which is uh, the title again, 
and then some kind of registration number which you have to fill and you have to leave blank. It has to be given by the DST in the print form. And the principal investigator are um, one and two, and the institution is also given. The two institutions could be different also. But in this case, they had, both of them happen to be IT Delhi. But it could be different. One can have a collaboration from some other place as well. Now, before you give the details of the project, you have to give the summary. Yeah? That's not very uh, difficult thing to do. And DST specifies that this summary should not be more than 150 words. Okay, take it that way. So they have tried to give uh, something, some kind of uh, summary in this particular project. And uh, now please go further. Okay, just, just before that, before that. How to write summary of something? See, we don't want to be over, uh, I mean, we should not write over and we should not write under. So there are some, some rules of paragraphing. Uh, you know, one paragraph should speak with the previous paragraph and should also speak with the next paragraph. One sentence should speak with the previous sentence, should also speak with the next sentence. Like this, one constructs the abstracts. Somehow, this again is something which is to be written afterwards. Uh, of course, you are talking about the summary. Summary of what? Unless you have the main body, you cannot summarize. But the rules of writing the summary uh, is serious. In that the same seriousness as you exercise on your students that to write the abstract uh, now carefully. <laughs> same kind of thing has to be done. Then we don't want to take chances with the writing part at least. And that is the introduction part and uh, the second paragraph here in this case says what these people wish to do and in that, since it is a theoretical research, you could see that this summary is also dominated some, some, at some places by some of the uh, references. The reason is that it is so much dependent on, on the previous work that it has gone the way, all the way up to the first page and that is the summary. Now you see that Saha, some number and then Saha and something, 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 saying etc. So this means that showing up seriousness that yes, I know what I'm writing, no? something like that. So next please, quickly. Uh, okay, now the details of the project uh, start and uh, one has to select some keywords. That's what the DST wants. The reason is that under these keywords, they have the panel of the experts with them. Under these keywords, uh, you know, you get the experts from the portal of MSRD. What is the name of that portal? Vidwan or something like that. Something like that. So the keywords are important. And the selection of the keyword is not that you create a word and say that this is a keyword. Keyword means it is a keyword which is known to most of the people. So keywords are the serial. Um, uh, serial, uh, in case of the robot, that means that it's a serial robot. The Milan is a serial one. Uh, it is a flexible, it is FRC, it is dynamics, simulation, experiment, like this. So they have chosen this. I do not know which one of them. Technical details. And remember, it says that certain items have to be filled by the investigators. So this is again continuing with uh, what the investigators have to write. So the technical details start with the um, uh, introduction. And uh, the first sentence more or less is repeating the summary here. But this is the introduction. I won't read it. This is the introduction from that particular project, the title of which you have seen already. Uh, next, uh, just continue. So the introduction to the report. Now, now just hold up. You see there, the way it is written, uh, let's watch it. That what I want to do, the complete background is made ready in the, in the paragraph 
that shows earlier. Now we see the sentence there. Thus, thus means therefore, in this project, the following activities will be taken up. So it is a conclusion that something has been done, something has been done by such people, and this is what the importance is, this, this, and therefore, there is a need to study, uh, you know, what you call handloom or silk, and, you know, and such kind of things should be done. So it, can, it, it automatically makes the mind very much tired in the sense that it says that therefore the following things will be taken up in the present project. So it's a development of a model and then keeps on going as Let's just go further. Dynamic analysis 7. Okay. So this, now the details have started. So it has talked about before it says that I want to do this, it tells why I am going to do that and uh, telling that well, this is so essential that if uh, it is not done, it is not good for this world. So uh, then it is just uh, 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 talking about after all, if I do something, will it be anywhere used? So it is giving a glimpse of of saying that it is, it is a resource that the industries like uh, something, something will be interested. Uh, sample color tubes, uh, you will see somewhere there, it doesn't exist anymore. So this project proposal is old. Earlier when the televisions were uh, for different kind, you know, there used to be huge, so there used to be a tube inside. So Santa Satishko used to make the tubes for the uh, television. Now you see you have a different kind of television, flat screen or anything like that. But the name has, it continues with that. So that's what the Santa is. Uh, anyways, so it just reflect. See the first paragraph? It talks very rapidly how important it is to study these things. And you know, the investigators already know what they want to study. And then, therefore, the following things are to be done in this particular project. And then it gives the advantages of that particular project. That's one section. Three paragraphs, one section. Next is the origin of the proposal. Now, a little bit elaborate of why such kind of proposal should, should be considered. So, I think you can carry on now on this. Okay, just hold on, please. Origin, uh, they want you to write origin. I mean, I'm, this is a DST requirement, not my requirement or anybody's requirement. The number of 211 uh, two is that where does this idea originate from? So you say that, sir, Sari Walo ne kiya hai, Kurte Walo ne kiya hai. Is liya na paisa ame na kar raha hon. That's kind of thing that you give the reasons for are doing your, your, uh, your project. So, sorry? No, no, we will start later. But it is just, it could contain, it will contain. The one reference will be given at many places. It has some review also because this is a theoretical research. And, uh, but it talks about why I'm talking about the dynamic analysis of uh, this kind of robot bomb. So one gives the origin. Uh, the reason is that this has been done there, this has been done there, Sara has done, Mascara has done this, Puma has done this kind of thing, and there and this has not been done. Therefore, it should be done. So this is you link and give the justification for the origin. Then what is that you want to do? A little bit of expand your problem, definition of the problem, which is given here. Now we don't have to read it because this is a different field altogether. Yeah. Okay, that's, that was the problem yeah, in the sense that define what you wish to do. Just take a very simple thing. Do you want to do the field research or you want to collect the data in your lab? You know, one is the field research, the other is simulation. If you want to do the simulation, your analysis becomes different. But if you want to collect the data, your analysis becomes different. So <laughs> here, this person is saying that this needs only simulation. 
He will put his foot down that only simulation means the reason is that most probably he is going to ask for a simulation software on computer later. <laughs> Still it is not there. But this that's the problem is. Next is the objective. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, some degree of difference is that uh, the simulation results, first of all, um, why one simulates? You simulate something because you cannot have a clear form solution to the problem. That's number one. So you try to create a model and simulate in a, in a computer. This result will be better than the result if you go for the field research. The reason is that in the field research, you go and you spend your days and you ask for the responses, the person is not in good mood and and then you come back and uh, 176 and then you calculate the standard deviation, then you realize that I have to do the 76 more and you go there and there is nobody available to you. So the quality of uh, overall quality of the data, if you collect, is not very good. Simulation is something which is every parameter is under your control. You can simulate the falling of a mountain. Mountain has never fallen as a matter of fact. But you can do that in your uh, simulation. So you can experiment more widely than the real one, of course. That's why. So here, uh, the objectives of the proposal, or the uh, project, uh, are given. Now you see, it's pleasant. It's a pleasure to read the objectives. The order in which they are written is also very important, because sometimes what happens is that either we are impatient or we are unskilled, and we start writing the points in any hazard manner. It says the dynamic modeling of a tooling serial flexible arm. So if you wish to know what it means, I will just try to explain because this is very easy. There are two types of modeling. One is the static modeling. So I am standing here, this is the static. So there is a weight acting and everything is fine. Dynamic modeling means the robot arm is moving as now you, you have something which is moving, dynamically is moving, right? So the kinematics starts working, the motors all start working and all kind of force you could bring on energy uh, and everything, conservation starts applying. So he says that dynamic modeling, development of computer algorithm for simulation of a tooling. Now if you just switch one and two, you see the flavor is lost. First you have to clear the model and then go for the simulation. That's the natural way of it. Not that you say that I'm going to create a simulation model, a uh, simulation, and then uh, you do the algorithm model. Like right? this, I only put it here that uh, uh, personally, after having said all this, is not to demean any of my colleagues sitting here. Uh, said I will be available just in case you think that you need uh, uh, somebody. Uh, as a second person to read uh, the proposal. Uh, the reason is that I'm, I know that I'm in slightly ill-turned here and there uh, in my saying and uh, this is not that uh, you know, after saying all this you go out and then never show up. No, that is not going to happen. Uh, we will continue our association. With that assurance, let us proceed that the order is important and we all have to consult our colleagues and uh, students and other seniors, juniors and see that whether they find it comfortable to read or not. The next is, there are two types of uh, status that you have to report. You have to tell what is the international status of this kind of work. BST, you know, India. So it has to stand internationally. Uh, so you give the international status and later on you will give the national status also. The main item is uh, review of the status of the R&D in the subject area. So they are now starting the international status. Next, 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 next. So, like this. So one after the other, very precisely, concisely, the reason is that all these have to go 
to some experts. Later on, these proposals will be evaluated by somebody to say yes or no. So the next is um, the national status. Let us go to the further. So you have uh, uh, now the national at the national level what is being done. Uh, yesterday, I think uh, you read out that I have a medal. Uh, you know, my name is not there though, unfortunately. So sometimes it happens. Let it go like this. It is there. It is only in the black, uh, not the black letters. Perhaps it is in the white letters. So, <laughs> uh, but uh, IT Kanpur, uh, where I was, has a center for robotic research. Okay. The next is the national status. Next is okay. Like this, it talks about um, this kind of thing, and quite likely some of the experts name will appear. For example, Nagarajan is coming here. If you notice from IIT Madras, like this. So okay. So. Is, this speaks about yourself, how much you know uh, about the things. Is it that you are killing or something that you have in the middle of it? So, according to its own length, it doesn't say that you have to give only this much. It says that complete. So, you have to show off as much as you can. The next, of course, is the importance of the proposed project. Of course, you have to show off as much as you can. The next, of course, is the importance of the proposed project in the context of the current status. Status that those persons who are investigating say something about them. I mean, कुछ है उनके अंदर धम है अभी तक तो आपने प्रोजेक्ट प्रोपोजल के बारे में बताया अब उनके बारे में बताइए जो लोग उसको हाइडल करने जा रहे हैं जो लोग करने जा रहे हैं so the stars so Saha has done something 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 then will come say the species somewhere later yeah yes like this so both of them have uh, very briefly given their biodata kind of thing. Uh, on this subject, this is new, this wasn't there earlier, is that to your knowledge, have there been patents of any kind? The reason is that somebody has to view, you don't violate or don't repeat something which has already been done. Because now, India is a signatory of this particular body where one has to uh, take care of these kind of things. So the patents, it says that related to this, there are these patents. And then, uh, okay, next, continue, sir. And related to the other aspect of the proposal, then there are patents. And then besides this, there are some more references which they, they, they are giving here. And plenty. So these references speak about uh, the um, uh, how much you know about the world there so this is what it is now the next is the uh, work plan how are you going to execute you did say 36 months in the beginning but uh, now you have to give uh, the thing so methodology is to be written first so methodology is outlined it will do the literature survey it will do uh, either Lagrangian uh, equation and then all kind of things and then uh, next so it is describing the method of doing it since it is a theoretical one so you understand that some kind of theoretical uh, things will come then it will be simulation first is the literature survey then is the simulation then experimental setup and then the study and the comparison and uh, so you have to tell that this is what I want to do. I have to collect the data or I have to do the analysis or whatever. So they have done their, uh, their with respect to this project. Now organization of the work elements has been explained here. This is the requirement of the DST. Now I think we can proceed further quickly. Uh, the next is that 
uh, 36 months you said earlier. So what is the time schedule of the Turkish giving the different milestone, which is very common kind of thing we do everywhere. So first 12 months it says that we'll have the literature survey and then we'll hire the research associate and so on and so forth. The next uh, two or 12 months we'll have the recruitment of the junior research fellow and um, but something more. Uh, analysis of the next one, next one, next one, and the last uh, 12 months will be the experiment on the computer, uh, like this, debugging documentation, and so on and so forth. So this is definitely, there is nobody who can question this, in the sense that sometimes they want the graphical representation also, it's only written here in this case, otherwise they may like to have, you uh, know, a bar chart kind of thing as well, dance chart rather. Okay, so this is about the schedule of the activities. Next, sir. Quickly, yeah, 234 of the DST um, uh, form that you uh, download will require you to give something what is called the budget estimate. And uh, you can see that the heads are fixed. Uh, and so that you cannot insert or you may leave blank, that's a different thing. So it has uh, some kind of recurring expenses and some kind of equipment. So there are two ways of heads. Uh, one is the recurring, the other one is non-recurring, that is uh, one time, and that is in the form of the equipment. So, um, the first year recurring is about the salaries, about the consumable, about the travel, about some other costs, which happens to be um, quite a bit in this case. Second year similarly, the third year, and then you have uh, the total uh, row wise and the total column wise also. So, equipment is being bought in the second year one computer more or less looks like and then there is a grand total and final you have made it to 19 lakhs and this is what is written there also so this is the breakup of what was given earlier and uh, in case the any of the equipment or anything requires the foreign exchange you have to state that as well Next is the budget for the salaries and the wages. Uh, here, uh, this is uh, serious in the sense that you cannot pay anybody less, you cannot pay anybody more. So you have to know the rules and the procedures of the sponsoring agency, particularly in this case, the government of India. And if somebody is designated as a junior research fellow, the advertisement must go exactly the way the government of India has prescribed and the qualification should also be exactly the same what is written for the JRF and the salary to be paid is also that. So that's what is the, uh, uh, for the two positions here, the search associate and JRF and of course they have said that they will hire some attendant, looks like a daily visa uh, at 4,000 rupees a month, like this, no? so whatever is there and this is the total component and which is 9 lakhs 46,000 uh, 800. One of the way, one of the criteria which is used is that you ask 19 lakhs total out of which you are spending nearly 50% uh, in the wages and the salaries which is okay. Uh, so not so bad uh, as compared to like had you suggested 90% etc. then one would have got slightly money. But this is okay. They know the tricks of the game that's why I think they have put it this way. Next please. Okay, let's go further and finish it. Justification, now uh, it will tell why do I need these people. So 311 asks for the justification for the manpower requirement. You know in the country, you know, the employment is something which is taken very seriously. So somebody has to write and make sure that you write the truth, and uh, only the truth, that why uh, there has to be a um, research associate and they are, they are so that's about the requirement of the manpower. The next is the, for the consumable materials. So, uh, okay, so here you, uh, you uh, show everything, uh, your quantity, your budget, and fire exchange. Since this is a project which is a theoretical, so there isn't any quantity, there is no fire exchange, and that's what you have here, 60,000 rupees. Next is the justification. Out of these consumables, if there is anything which is costly, uh, then you have to give the justification. 
So this is what is you know, given here. Uh, this doesn't happen anything. So the next is the travel. So again, the similar kind of story. Why do you have to travel on, on this particular project? So one gives a little bit of that kind of figure. Next, please, quickly. So this is uh, some justification has to be given. One can copy this. This is taken from the site of the DST. So one can give the similar justification or the same justification. And then other costs and contingency. Carry on, carry on, please. Okay. So justification for a specific cost have to be given. So all that you see here is that uh, uh, now every element of the cost is to be justified. I, I, I know that some people have a very different notion about these things as if there is a free one that they have a project, they don't 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 have a project. They don't have a project. We have a writing and justification after justification. And remember, if anything goes wrong, then you have to stand by the words which are written by you. Okay, next is, uh, let us see quickly. Uh, whatever you see somewhere, there is an AC servo motor, maybe I will just say, servo motor comes only because, you know, the servo arm has to make some movement somewhere, that's why it is coming here. That's a very crucial element in this present case. Okay, now the equipment, similar kind of justification has to be given for the equipment, then 300 series stops, finish. Now starts the 400, which is the time schedule um, activities that we have seen already uh, written in words. Now it gives the better display. Next, sir. Okay. okay. The list of the facilities being extended by the parent institution for the project implementation. Generally, unless the project qualifies. Now, there is one thing that has to be told. What is my institution or organization giving for this particular project? So they have made the list of this kind of thing, workshop, infrastructure, and uh, laboratory, and AC. Don't ask for the AC. Uh, like this. Next. There are some things which are available with the, this particular group of the project investigator. Uh, principal investigator and the co-principal investigator, they are mentioned here. Next step, quickly let us go and finish it. Now comes something about those who are the investigator, what you call the detailed biodata. So you start, you know, just saying PhD, uh, degree, experience. The columns are fixed. The education comes first, then comes experience, then comes all these things are nearly fixed by the DST, one has to fill in. Professional achievements, honors, professional membership, extracurricular activities, publications, and the list of the publications. Yeah, just, just let it go. There are too many publications. This is a senior person from IIT Delhi. List of the projects implemented, some experience with the projects done by DST or by MHRD or by some SONA, color steering. You know this company, right? They make the steering for the car, uh, Maruti and other places. So that's about this fellow. Now you see, plenty of the pages have gone into telling about one of the investigators. Uh, that um, the references, because this person has a lot of publications, so he is able to say 2000, this, 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 year-wise. But supposing somebody has lesser number of publications, then can 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, can serially uh, list them, there is no need to give year-wise, depends on the number. So this is now the SPC, the same kind of thing which is coming again, sir.
you notice that SPC has done more projects than uh, Saha. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is. Previous history. Okay, so here uh, is again the last piece. Uh, so this is the story of the proposal being sent because I was told that DST, whatever is the number, I think perhaps is the best. This uh, will matter. Similarly, uh, I will suggest uh, some other websites also. You can have a look at these um, samples. Uh, one I took just um, uh, uh, now before you, uh, it's about 50 pages. Uh, and you can imagine that uh, the information which goes in, it's not a very uh, what you call it, a routine kind of writing, it's a very careful writing. Uh, more and more we write, uh, I think we get more and more experience. Uh, one few things you see that uh, now, uh, there was a uh, student, come colleague, come, his name is uh, Manendra Agrawal at IIT Kanpur. He has gotten all the prizes on the world and on the earth except the Nobel Prize. So, because that area is such where you cannot get a Nobel Prize. Mathematics doesn't give you the Nobel Prize. All other sciences particularly give you the Nobel Prize. Mechanical engineering, that's why I haven't gotten the Nobel Prize, sir. Because mechanical engineering doesn't give the Nobel Prize. It's only the sciences and peace and uh, economic sciences including. That's all. So, so. What you notice here and what I was telling you the story is that once you get something, there are a lot of uh, proposals people keep you bothering Kisave Prize distribution. So nucleus has to be formed initially. That's what you saw here also. That once you give me a little bit of your potential that uh, I have done in the past so much. So, you know, people will definitely pay more attention because uh, now you can do this particular project also. We are more confident like this. So, but don't worry about it because those who are the beginners, younger people, naturally they won't have this bank of the experiences that uh, we are talking about. They don't really matter. And uh, that's where you're being, I mean, I volunteer myself. Uh, many others of you know, your colleagues are there to help you out. And, uh, uh, in 1979, the first uh, project which was given to us, uh, me, me particularly, uh, along with some of my other friends, was for 50,000. You won't believe. But 79, 79, I don't know how some of you might have not been born even at that time. It was a good amount at that time. And the salary of this research associate, who happens to be a wife of some of the faculty members there, was very minimal and she was happy. But now with time what has happened is that these things have become lax and curves. So somebody uh, getting a project worth few curves is very common these days, uh, which uh, wasn't there at that time. So with time, the magnitude uh, now keep on changing. In this case, so here it is. Uh, now, what he's saying is that uh, this is the summary uh, which talks about the different components taken here. There were some small projects in the case of SPC. SPC, there are several projects. There was one project of 1.2 lakhs. 1,000. Yeah, yeah. One, so, this giving you complete details. And this is summarized, of course. Now you see the amount of information that has to be done. So that means there is something uh, which is centrally given by the Dean R&D's office. 
because some of the things are not known to you, but my dad will be educated about this thing, what we saw uh, just now. So, about the chemistry, about the biology, and other kind of thing that we saw earlier. Yeah, like this. So, please. If you know it, fine. This will be a very small institute, but you are not uh, MIT or however, where one has to drive by car to go from one corner to the other. The next one, sir, I think uh, let us uh, continue there. Yeah, it continues. I think it will come to an end. It has come to an end. Already. So that's about the story of uh, draft proposal. I don't know uh, how much learning is there, but the point is that uh, once you, you see it, all the curiosity is settled in the sense that there isn't something too big, there isn't something very easy also. But it is a involved kind of thing and it needs. Uh, uh, well-conceived ideas about uh, this thing and uh, similar to this uh, now uh, I think um, it does it open the website so far I thought that uh, what is the scope of our CSIR um, sponsor for that much see these are uh, of course uh, if you see the title department of science and technology so if it is not there. Similarly, the science and industrial science and industrial research, CSIR. CSIR, you should know, is uh, by its charter. Only the Prime Minister can inaugurate the annual this thing and give away the Shanti Shuru Bhatnagar Award. Is the title? So, how many Shanti Shuru Bhatnagar Awardi are there in Varanasi? No idea. Not many, though. I think Shivastha, one Shivastha is there. He is uh, not many. See, the point is, we are just talking a little bit about uh, the importance of some of the agencies. Uh, but uh, there are several others. I do not know personally. Uh, you have to teach me. Uh, you know, uh, the kind of area that you are interested in. And if the luck strikes, I can also suggest uh, some of the agencies. If it doesn't, uh, well, I think uh, then you have to take the responsibility of exploring uh, such kind of thing. So this is what uh, is... Uh, DST. Ah! See, there is a card for proposal coming first. So you can read and see if that matches your interest, with your interest. He is the minister who appears once in a while as a health minister also. So Asutosh Sharma uh, is from IT Kanpur uh, and with a lot of pride I will say that there are three secretaries, non-IS, who are from IT Kanpur. There are two IS who are from IT Kanpur, so we have four. House is for. <laughs> Don't expect more than this. That's a good number. That, that person is IIT fellow who studied at IIT. The first one is the biotech um, um, secretary, Raghavan. Plenty of figures. Okay, and now. Um, you have uh, some tea, it looks like, and uh, it's coming, so I am the host, <laughs> playing host. Then the next tea is very distinct, we would just like to see what are the projects which have been carried out by other management schools in the country. I am in Dhar to dekhe to sir. Project 
Um, I wanted to just uh, speak about uh, the major areas in which the projects have been uh, obtained by the management faculty. Uh, since most of these IIMs are kind of, you know, our uh, uh, dream institutes in terms of our uh, standard, so the areas have been marketing, uh, areas have been uh, HR to some extent, areas have been uh, particularly, you know, uh, as the government is uh, making uh, different kind of clusters, sectors and other kind of things. So corresponding to that different kind of uh, uh, decisions that have to be taken based on the fact, unfortunately the, we have to understand that this is a uh, literature driven, fact driven uh, proposal. Not very big amount, as it happens many times with the engineering uh, uh, projects. Uh, but this is what you will notice, and I will say that uh, 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 you could uh, do it uh, by yourself, rather than my showing up. Not a great uh, thing that uh, I'm going to do there by showing that this is the project uh, by I am endowed. You can do by yourself, and more than one place, as a matter of fact, any place of your interest. Now, similarly, I will say that, uh, uh, sir, Dr. Rajkumar, sir, do we have the portals for our projects or something like that? No, not yet. The reason perhaps could be that, you know, there aren't enough to begin the project. So let us just say that uh, in one year or so, uh, we create, uh, now, we just the awareness and some kind of uh, revolution to have, uh, don't worry about the amount, uh, the number is very important for you so that the portal can start. And uh, then after that, uh, of course, uh, uh, you know, um, quite likely once you show the potential of completing one, uh, as Manindra says that, you know, there will be notation for many others. <laughs> so this nucleus has to be formed. And uh, this will take um, uh, for writing the proposal, getting through, and so so on and so forth. I'll give an estimated time of about two years. No. And uh, these two years, um, uh, I say that I commit that I will be available. You, know, you have uh, my home address, that's my home, and uh, my phone number, my email address. 
and uh, I can come down here. Free of cost, of course. I think that's important to uh, to mention. I can travel. I have a vehicle. I can drive, or I can walk also. Is it? If you start in the morning, you can go by the evening at least. And don't hesitate. The point here is that uh, many times you will see there's a it's a matter of only you have been slightly aggressive, not too much aggressive, but slightly. Uh, you know, <laughs> Saying that I want a project, I want to do something, you know, stuff like that. So let us uh, close uh, this uh, session, and I will now invite uh, your uh, questions, your queries, or uh, any matter of your curiosity that you think that can be done. Uh, I have done in my professional life about uh, ten sponsored projects and one. Uh, consultancy in varied areas of this. That's uh, my bank. Uh, this thing, in case it is of any importance. So, yes. No, sir. Not this format. As a matter of fact, if I I had known that um, I, see, I would have brought it somehow. DST only was told, so I just brought. I would like to copy. I would like to read a uh, little bit about uh, this sponsoring agency. I will copy. Uh, one thing is clear now that the richness of the proposal day by day is increasing. As you have seen the uh, draft sample uh, in front of you for uh, DST. So I think the similar kind of thing would be asked by your agency also, but I wouldn't say the same format. I will. I would like to know about the format. If not, uh, you know, like this, then I will request somebody to send me the format. So how many co-investors are around OKI? How many? Co-investors. OKI. Well, DST. As as such, officially doesn't have the limit. But what I have seen is one principal and two co. So something like a team of three. Uh, see, the team um, has its own duty in some sense. That uh, we are doing the projects. Uh, similar project is one thing. That means I have big name, so I get the projects. But my colleagues don't get benefited. My students don't get benefited. So I form a team. Uh, that's best. So that way, a team of three, and then you have different kind of combination because out of three, one can join the other team. So you see that the team essentially uh, grows, and your institute, the whole institute, is a team ultimately. But there is no limit as far as the DST is concerned. Maximum, yeah, two copy. So three total. Yeah. Only one principal, yes. Principal means principal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea. As a matter of fact, uh, I have seen the cases because the you saw the list of the course. Some people by mistake had written my name also. The proposal had come to me, and there is a very standard. Uh, Uh, and all up, and they send it uh, for the uh, evaluation, and uh, they give you the worksheet also. So don't have to work very hard. But you have to read the proposal. And I have seen the uh, situation when the person didn't have the PhD but had good potential. So I do not know personally whether it is a must or not. Yeah. Yeah. It has the effect. It has the effect. It will have the effect because you will compete with the proposal uh, from uh, no, other institutions and organizations as well. It will have the effect, but there is no such kind of restriction uh, from most of the government uh, sponsoring agencies that one should have around uh, 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 eleven number of publications or anything like that. Do we have got so many of these publications? Do we have got the chances to get care of that our project 
see, see the point is that this was a sample proposal and uh, sample proposal in the sense that uh, this is not to be taken as the count of the number of the papers of S.P. Singh or Saha is what one should meet and without that one should not apply. The point here is that one should start applying and why one would do it with the uh, DST or I like to do it with the, with the UP Council for Science and Technology first then I will move to the DST later or I would like to go to the uh, uh, some kind of uh, Varanasi um, kind of thing and uh, because there are sometimes publications come out of uh, such kind of um, uh, uh, project work sometimes, not always so that builds up the uh, kind of the regenerative uh, regeneratively builds up the uh, stock so why do I have to compare myself with somebody? Yeah. Sir, one question. Uh, if, for example, if you have a project proposal for two years, so what is the maximum that you can give me after that expiry you start from DST? Okay. As far as the DST is concerned, the project practice is two years, means two years. You mean extension? idea about uh, this kind of thing because in this environment the extension related uh, uh, experience I do not know whether the secretary would uh, have that kind of temperament because for him there isn't anything like uh, you right now in the beginning itself you said two years four months two years six months yes that, that's what the meaning of the project is project cannot go on for uh, very long no even that. Yes, sir. In rare cases only. When we think that if there is some kind of casualty, for instance, one is uh, trying to study the behavior of the concrete and uh, somehow there is a flood on the Kosi River for several months, so everything gets delayed or whatever data was collected is of, it has to be redone, then natural uh, extension is there, but it's a rare. See, the research proposal has been submitted after that generally it is processed by sending it to the experts for their opinion. Once the opinion gets collected, then generally there is a meeting of the, uh, no, there is a meeting, a steering committee meeting uh, which generally uh, says and it just starts out that this proposal is of no interest, this proposal is of interest and so on and so forth. After that, they invite people on their own organization's expenses to present about the paper and then they take the final decision. That's about uh, the general norm. Yeah. Yes, sir. No, sometimes, yes. For discussion, this is not for presentation. No, there is a difference between discussion. If you, uh, they get involved into discussion, then they will not be able to finish one in the whole day, particularly if there is one from Banaras. <laughs> so it is presentation. I speak and then I get out. So next person comes. Uh, no, DST definitely does it. D DST definitely does it. Format of the presentation is very difficult to dictate. See, the point is that by then, by the time you write the proposal and then the time of the presentation comes, you know the pulse of the things, that this is what I have to stress. So, the proposal that starts from 101, all the way up to 400 something that you saw there, actually this has to be summarized during the presentation. But yet, some of the things can be just kept like this and some of the things will get projected where your strength lies. So you are playing your text as a matter of fact at the time of presentation by saying, more or less saying that nobody else has done, only I am going to do it. Practically. <laughs> That's so, yeah. In case of uh, DST or many other government organizations, there are the annual meetings where the experts or the expense of the sponsoring agency are invited 
and uh, people on their own expenses, they travel to that particular place, they present and they are given uh, some kind of form, they fill up and they record the progress. That's all. Particularly DST, uh, now because there is a number of projects that they handle. So remember one thing that the government of India is a very big window for giving the research money. The similar kind of um, window is with the United States where the money is not given by the government of the United States. Money is given through the National Science Foundation, NSF. So the window is DST. Here yeah, in this case, I mean, one of the windows is just a big one. So there is a number of the projects being um, monitored is very large. So you see that several rooms are uh, occupied by you know, the monitoring committee members at that time. say that I agree with you and I will not be able to see um, any scientific reason behind this kind of thing happening except Gandhi uh, Why it happens in Israel, why it happens in the countries, particularly Japan let us say, people are very very honest and hard working. Or how pahle extension ki baat karenge, pahle kisi rishtedar ko Nobody they may be bad searching it, is kept no bad side of the like see that's where we we are uh, liking. So I'm not so kind of you on Gali Deli the law that what is at this question can see. Yes sir. Yeah, right now, since you are a private institution and that to tier two, tier two means um, you are not autonomous. Uh, it's advisable that some of the topics may be of interest to some other uh, people uh, who are part of the organizations, bigger organizations, government organizations. And if you have the collaboration, it is more productive that way. Whatever it is, uh, but the point your question was that should we collaborate from your point of view, uh, whether it is beneficial to, to the uh, school here, SMS, yes, it is beneficial. That's what I'm saying. Government, for, that is a different thing. That's for running the issue. This is not. Yeah. So I uh, couldn't get the question. Uh -huh. That you are eligible for. Uh, yeah, okay. For any other nation? Within India. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. But that's only the, I mean, you are eligible, but unless you apply to a particular agency, they won't give uh, uh, just because you have the certificate. No, no, that is giving the, that is a certificate of my eligibility. I am eligible to drive, but if I do not have a vehicle, I do not have a driving license, so the government is not going to give me the 
uh, you know, all these things uh, to drive. I have the visibility. I have the visibility to become, uh, let us say, uh, to hold the passport. That doesn't mean that I have the passport or I get the money. So you have, the reason is that uh, why you are uh, registered in the 12 year? Because there are some organizations where the government doesn't want that they should be taking any money from any government. And not you, but uh, there are certain organizations. And uh, the government bans in the name of this 12 year and 2 b uh, that you cannot take the money from outside because the government is very careful in allowing people. So there are reasons for the government to issue the certificate. <coughs> Yes, yes. Sir, so that story uh, I do not know, but uh, since uh, uh, we uh, said that we are in the mood of going ahead, I wouldn't like to see the negatives. There are plenty of negative things. One of the negative things is that all the projects that are paying for the IIT are not getting, the rest of the people are not getting. I would ignore that kind of thing. See, the point is that there are people in IIT system whose publication itself is uh, runs into the pages and pages, even more, more pages than the total length of the publication so much. But you have to compare with uh, anybody, let us say. If they want to give to BHU producer, fine. If they don't want to give, that, well, that's a different story. I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll walk for that. Because such kind of uh, finding out uh, and is holding back uh, ourselves and then finding the reason. What is the eligibility certificate? Yes. Yeah, right, right. It's the eligibility. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying is that not getting is also with IITs, IIMs. People have this kind of habit of um, uh, what you call telling that my publications are not very good or there are very few. The other way of saying is that only IIT people get the sponsor for the same thing more or less. See the point is that you have a strong proposal. You have this strong uh, this thing and uh, tie it out if it doesn't come through that's fine. But uh, hopefully it should come through. So uh, I think the, um, uh, you are right sir but uh, see the point here is that uh, BHU is an established university. Uh, there are established people. There are people who are known to people and there are people who are known to such people. So those things also matter. And uh, considerately from outside, you are also reasonably known. <laughs> Only thing that you want to be more known, that's a different thing, but uh, uh, it's not a bad situation. I was, just talking to Kartike and this, our friend here, there are people who have moved out of this place and have joined uh, some of the IIMs and they said about uh, Indore and uh, Lucknow and Bodh Gaya and like this. So, I think this is the beginning of the build up of the connection. So, I hope. That's why we are happy that at least we have started working with the business, although the amount is gone now. But at least we have to start. Achha, yeah, that's what I, I'll say that, um, I mean, that. Um, encourages me. I mean, means only less than 24 hours I have been with you. <laughs> a million more than 24 hours. So that is a matter of encouragement for all of us. As a matter of fact, I would say that. Unsolicited. Yeah, in the DST. Yeah, they solicited.
Now, that, first of all, selection of the sponsoring agency is very ticklish. I think he mentioned about some agency. So one has to find out where this will fit. And this is not expected out of a student. A faculty should know whether this is good for DST or it is good for here. In the case of the confusion, you can submit to both. But one has to be withdrawn later on. But this is a task. This has to be completed. There is nobody who can prescribe and you should not listen if the, even if the person is trying to prescribe that you should submit only here or no, do this kind of thing. Because seeking and, achieve, and, and targeting the... Why? Why? No, no, you can, you can do that. But the point is that once you open up the website, of some, about 10, for the, 10 this thing, you get into the habit of opening like your email or your newspaper or... Why not? Why not? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Quite. But this is a very... Corporate houses, yes. Sure, sure. Well, who, who stops that? I mean, you have to seek the permission only from the dean. No, no, you can, you can, you can. There are per, 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 per sponsors. There are, as a matter of fact, research centers given by ISRO at IIT Kanpur. There are center, there is a center, there is a building made, uh, what I read out, uh, central uh, no, tubes, etc. At, uh, on uh, IIT Kanpur campus, there is a private one. So, yes, quite possible. Yeah. yeah. Quite. So, now the whole world, when you think that one should not start getting tired of applying, that's what is important, right, sir? Keep on applying because this is something which, by which I think we have done enough of the transmission of the knowledge. That means the teaching. Now era has started that we should do a lot of research, a lot of research. Because his question is that we have not been able to uh, develop anything. Just take the case of the Uttar Pradesh. Uh, UP to you particularly, the 760 colleges are at that time. Now I don't know the number exactly. Most of them are the teaching institutes. So if you take, talk about 5 lakh, 60,000 uh, uh, people going only for the teaching, no research, obviously you will not be able to do much on this. But that is over now. The new thing uh, for your survival, I mean I am retired, so uh, I get my pension um, regularly. But you have to think about your future. And that means that it is the challenge that you have to take in terms of the research. There is no way that I have done. <laughs> right, so, Acharya uh, Ji, do you have that Mamai pen drive? Okay, the first one. And I just, 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 uh, the first one, there, yeah, there, yeah, there, yeah, right. Uh, this is about myself. So, uh, this is, uh, just let him open if he can. Uh, this is, not only for engineering, uh, you should know it. There is an academy uh, in the country. There are many academies. Uh, there is one which is called the National Academy of Engineering. So this is the Indian National IMA in short. And there is uh, something, you know, a convention uh, being done somewhere, but five years old, nearly. So next, not many people know the full stroke People just stop after saying Tamso Ma Jyotur as if they have achieved everything. It comes from somewhere 
very unknown kind of vision. And the slope has four, three lines. So that's what is the theme of this particular academy. Only it leaves some so much other than that, but the idea is that that's what is meant there. Next, this is an award which was given to me. So this slide that you have is a very quick rerun of this thing and that tells about my date of birth also. So next please, quickly. Okay, next, 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 next. So now we see the date of birth. 1949, after the independence of the country. Okay, uh, the education as you have read out already, I graduated from mechanical engineering, um, uh, uh, this university, then went to IIT Kanpur to do the uh, MTech and uh, see there is a difference between what I got uh, the bachelor's level, it is science and engineering and then it converted to technology, uh, then it is uh, operations research, MS and then the PhD. So our data analytics is well supported because of our exposure to the statistics and many other kind of things there. So that's about the education part. And I told you that the university uh, where I went is known, or uh, such universities are known for making sure that by the time you go out, you don't know anything. You start realizing that And then start picking up slowly, slowly, slowly. So that habit, I guess, is still there. Please carry on quickly. Uh, so I studied at BHU, IIT, Kampur and Cornell. So the three areas which I interact in my profession or which are interacted in my profession are uh, engineering, of course, that's the mechanical. And then some, you know, you say anything, I'll model it uh, mathematically. So, so that kind of uh, tech or the skill is there, that is the operations research. Then, the operations research at Cardinal is more like what you call the computer science. This is why the information system is written. So these three are my take. Quick, please, quick, 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 throw a coming somebody. And these are some of the, uh, what you call, uh, educational standing. And to the extent that I feel very bad if somebody says that he's a gold medalist. Unless you say that he was the topper of mechanic, of engineering, all the five years, no merit of change, kind of thing. Well, when you go to gold medalist, only one of them, I'm not one of those. इसीलिए कहते हैं कि वो ना यूपी बोर्ड के साथ टॉपर हैं। हमको वो बताइए कि हाई स्कूल और इंटरमीडिएट दोनों के हैं क्योंकि लोग टपक जाते हैं। हाई स्कूल में टॉप किया था इंटरमीडिएट में भी है या इंटरमीडिएट हम ऐसे नहीं हैं। हमको दो बार कोई है दस जस ऑन द राइटर साइड। सो दिस इज़ व्हाट so there are some um, uh, pins of Wales gold medal is because of the rank in mechanical engineering like this. It continues and um, like this. Like Bharat Ratna, there is a UP, UP Ratna. And I am UP Ratna, you didn't know about it, you should know it. Uh, you didn't know that there is a UP Ratna. The medal, the award, there is one and I am one of them, just on the lighter side of it. So that's the last one. Next one is uh, experience. Um, I think this is of. I started working in May 1978 at IIT Kanpur and continued. Well, th this is five years old. So this is present, of course, at that time. Then professor, then emeritus fellow. And uh, I was in, now you can see the number of years in Thailand, in Bangkok. So I speak Thai. And I have taste for Thai khana and soup and everything also. So uh, that's about uh, this thing. Visiting professor, I was, now you can see that. Started, this was all because of the Prime Minister Indira Gandhi at that time. And it went on, went on. It was more like showcasing uh, what do you want to showcase? Tractor? You want to show the SMT Gadi? You want to show up? The only thing with the country at that time could show up was, you know, brain and somehow this black face was selected for that and uh, the kind of running around which I have done in Bangkok 
मींस बस में चढ़ो पैदल चलो ये करके यू वोट बिलीव ओनली फॉर द सेक ऑफ द कंट्री तो मैं देशभक्त में हूँ एंड देन आई वेंट टू हनोई दैट्स इन वियतनाम यू नो हनोई राइट इट इज वन ऑफ दोज कंट्रीज विच यू हैव ड्रास्टेटेड बाय द अमेरिकन अटैक एट दैट टाइम सो देर इज अ स्टोरी अबाउट दिस एंड देन ऑफ कोर्स कॉर्नल यूनिवर्सिटी वेर आई गॉट माई डिग्री आई हैव बिन इन ईरान I am in Ethiopia. Do you know that Ethiopia is an African country? Very interesting. And I could see I was so satisfied that everyone there is blacker than me. So I was kind of one of those, but a boy chitta wala a gaya. So that's about this. Now the experience, because the profession, my university, my background does not demand that I stick to something. So this is important. For you to tell your children, let us say. Uh, the initially in 70s, I was doing the production operations management and uh, some quantitative decision modeling. That means the operations research. And remember one thing that these three gears have been running all the time. 80s I changed, and that became, uh, of course, that continued with the what I was doing earlier, and then the era of. वो कंप्यूटर एडेड कुत्ते की इतनी सीधा करो वो भी कंप्यूटर एडेड हो गए तो सारी चीजें कंप्यूटर हो गए फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन द कंट्री देयर वाज अ कोर्स स्टार्ट ऑन कंप्यूटर एडेड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड आई हैपेंड टू बी दैट काइंड ऑफ टीचर आई एम सो प्राउड दैट यू नो एटलीस्ट समथिंग हैज बीन गिवन टू द कंट्री दैट वे एडेड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इन 1986 देन कंप्यूटर एडेड डिसीजन सिस्टम वाज अनदर सच काइंड ऑफ वेंचर लिटिल लेटर और नो बिफोर दैट एज अ मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट लाइक दिस इट कंटिन्यू 90s were full of something more than this. The first time again in the country there was a concept of those days, you know, this robot and uh, NC machine, this and that, and all kind of thing. So the sims and uh, computer-aided process planning, etc., came in. And uh, next, please, let us see. Uh, then came uh, apart from that, uh, there was a turning point in the sense that my director. In several uh, convocation speeches, has said that we are going to start management, management, management. It has not started. So it is started like what you have here, a two-year program at IIT Kanpur, and I was met again second time the head of the department to see that this program runs. I did my best, whatever I was asked to do, and uh, then. During that program, the demand of the students was uh, to run a program which was very different than the rest of the places. So that is when the Chopra and Mandal was introduced for the first time. We were very happy. So when Chopra was very happy that his book is being used for supply chain management. So the story ended. Later on, I added uh, something now totally different. You know, I became the vice chancellor, I guess. From 2009 to 2012, and then came back, and then started doing again. And uh, I had something to the supply chain, the transportation, and the movement, and all those kind of thing, logistical management. And a new thing started, which has never been in my career so far. That's the financial engineering, basically it is a mathematical finance in some sense. So plenty of mathematics and plenty of finance. Uh, the economics I had to study myself because. There wasn't any kind of formal training, but I had to do it there. And then, of course, because of the statistics background, once again, the analytics came into a picture. So that's about uh, okay. There are some uh, personal accomplishment which was shown at that time. This I'm repeating to you the you know, slide I have requested you to show to you, and that is the industrial engineering and management at IIT Kanpur. To the country, for that matter, many other IITs uh, cooperated, many other institutes cooperated. Engineering, emerging areas of teaching and research. What I have given to the country is, or uh, what goes, what I feel that I have done is that I started computer integrated manufacturing system area overall, and then the supply chain management, and then the financial engineering. Something which has been copied and asked for by others, other institutes means that's what has been given by IIT Kanpur. New program has come. Uh, because of that, that's a two-year MBA program, and it was also thought that we should do something, something, and nobody knew what is that thing. So two years it took to only ideate what to do, and uh, then it was done that some there are some people who have the experience in the industry, 
and uh, there is no retraining of such kind of minds and let them come back and take the advantage of IITs etc and get retrained. So a new program came with this very interesting name though, Visionary Leadership for Manufacturing. <laughs> this is borrowed and stolen, whatever you would like to call it, from MIT, United States. It doesn't appeal so much. BNFM is one thing, I don't know how many things are common, which were the point of MOU between Manmohan Singh and the Japanese Prime Minister and Narendra Modi and the Japanese Prime Minister. I don't know about, uh, about other such kind of common things which have happened uh, between uh, two Prime Ministers. So that is what the visionary leadership manufacturing is that is started. And I was also the dean of students of here, at IIT Kanpur. So some specialization went on uh, the students affairs management. That's what the Students Affairs Management is. First time in the country started the application of computer, this is not to do with the teaching or research, this was not our profession. Uh, that's what the data processing center is. So, academic processing, salary, or permanent fund, Actually, the, those who have developed ERP, SAP in Bangalore, they came to study how the things work and the point of study was the IT Kanpur and this what is called Office Automation Center. So that's a good thing. And lastly, you know that I know, you may not believe it, how to run a university. So university regulations, we are given at that time by a very senior IS officer, she retired now, Brinda uh, Sarup, and then another lady, uh, Ministri, Madam, and then Kripashankar. So that is what is the, this thing. Some personal pride that I take is the teaching for the national pride. I have done it, and that is in Thailand. That means you just only have the map of India and the face of the Prime Minister in your mind, nothing else. So that was one. The second is that uh, anybody almost going to commit suicide, particularly at the very competitive places like IITs, so you need to do the counseling. So I learned this because of involving you know, myself with the students and so on and so forth. So I, I learned that counseling. And, uh, Running IIT as a deputy director is one thing, running UPTU is a different thing. Or what you call the large scale technical education, learning it itself should take more than three years. But uh, I learned it and then I did whatever I could. Uh, that was the UPTU Lucknow. So these are few, three things which I think uh, they constitute the button and the color of my shirt. Anything else, sir? Okay, and the personal goals, of course, are uh, to continue with this visionary leadership. This morning, morning from 12 to 1.30, I had a, a session for the visionary leadership. These days, it is online. Huh? So, Lean Manufacturing and Six Sigma is going on for the last few days, and that's uh, today also. Before I, you call at that time, I was just about finishing <laughs> this uh, session. So, that is going on, leadership skill development. I am very passionate about recycling. Chai newspaper ho ya dabba ho, raddi kabari lagati nahi utni hai. Ye jo kabari log hai, wo wala business ya wo wala jo cycling ya remanufacturing hai, uska reason ye hai ki humare bachcho ki baat chhod dijiye. Pata nahi aapke bachcho ko bhi chhod diye, unke jo bachche honge, wo jagah chalne ke liye unko milegi ki nahi. Ye bahut bada question hai. So, we should not create the mountains of the used and the waste and the scraps around us, we should, you know, use them as much as possible. So that's what is the recycling. The next is, uh, of course, I'm a rural person. So I want to revisit those rural technology. So I am, well, I remember, a rectal member, you may call it of Rutaq. I have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do this. 
और कंधे में टांग करके मतलब ये लोहार कैसे काम करता है कुम्हार कैसे काम करता है ये जो चीज है टेक्नोलॉजी पार्ट उसका जो इंजीनियरिंग पार्ट है वो देखते हैं ये बस एनीथिंग एल्स दिस वन यू मस्ट बी सीन इन नाउ द रीजन इज दैट आई हैव गार्डन एट दैट टाइम एंड आई कीप ऑन यूजिंग इट सो दिस स्पेलिंग इज समथिंग दैट यू हैव टू वेरी केयरफुल के ई आर सो दैट्स अबाउट मी and fortunately i said i saw your running uh, the file tumne ka zara khol ke bata hi dijiye aap kyunki kai baar aapne dikhaya aur unhone itna dikhaya jo maine kabhi dekha nahi tha pichle kai saalon mein to but anything that you think that interests you ye to hum baalon hai ki aapko bahut zyada interest ka nahi hai but if there is a need to inspire your children aap thoda phone kar dijiye ka usme इसमें फोन नंबर भी होगा वो काम मैं बहुत आजकल कर रहा हूँ जोरों से कर रहा हूँ जब से जे एडवांस का पता है ना रिजल्ट आया है तब से मेरा मार्केट बढ़ा है काफी बढ़ा है तो आई कैन डू दैट और वो है काम बस दिस स्टार्ट प्रोजेक्ट आई कम के for two years with them as a what you call huh free of cost <laughs> uh, person for any consultation any encouragement that you feel and you think that kya likhe kya na likhe aap chinta mat kariye aap thodi si mitti de dijiye uska usme se durga mata main pakka bana ke dunga aap chinta mat kariye okay so that was the lighter side of the whole thing now i think you take your stuff and uh, thank you thank you so much sir for your enlightening words uh with this we come to an end of